Hello and welcome to Stop Ross Maths key skill video on factorising the difference of two squares to evaluate numerical calculations. Now in this particular case we've got 64 squared minus 36 squared and what we could do is we could just work out what 64 squared is, that's 64 times 64. We could work out what 36 squared is, that's 36 times 36, just using long multiplication and then subtract those two results. But there is actually a cleverer way we could do this by using factorization. Now in previous videos we looked at the difference of two squares and we saw the difference of two squares it's when we have something squared minus something else squared and what we saw is that we could factorize this into two brackets one with a plus in the middle one with a minus in the middle doesn't matter which way round and then you do the square root of the first thing so the square root of a squared is just a so you put a as the first thing and you square root the second thing so the square root of b squared is b and you have b here and here and that was the difference of two squares now we can apply that to this particular case, but rather than variables, rather than letters, we've actually got numbers. But the same principle still applies. So all we need to do is to take this expression, it is the difference of two squares, we can do two brackets, just like over here. And as we have here, we put plus in the middle of one of them, and minus in the middle of the other one. And then we do the square root of each of the things. So the square root of 64 squared, well the square root just cancels the squared, we just get 64. So I'm going to put 64 as the first thing of each bracket. And then the square root of 36 squared is 36. So we put 36 here and here. And now we've got two brackets and we can work out easily what each of these two brackets simplify to. So what is 64 plus 36? Well that's just 100 isn't it? And remember, when you have two brackets next to each other, or any two things next to each other in algebra, it means you times them together. So we've got this implicit times in the middle. And what is this second bracket? We've got 64 minus 36, that's just 28, if you can do the mental arithmetic there. And now we've got a really easy calculation. We're just doing 28 times 100. Well, when we times by 100, we put two zeros on the end. So it's 2800, zero, zero, and that's the final answer. And notice we managed to work out this result without any tricky kind of long multiplication, like doing 64 times 64, for example.